what this whole homework situation calls for. 200, 200 chocolate bars. <laughs> Roy, every day after school, you wish for 200 chocolate bars. And every day after school, I'm a happy man. Oof me. Perfect. Hey, bestie. Hey, Roy. <laughs> oh, Roy, didn't see you there. You literally said, hey, Roy. Shut up. Something smells sweet. It's these 200 chocolate bars. Pretty sure it's Roy. Permission to confirm that theory? Permission denied. Plain hard to get. Mama like. But you owe me an extra big sniff later. Hey, how do you guys get all these chocolate bars every day? The internet? Oh, I love the internet. What up, peeps? What are you three fine home skillets getting after out here? I don't know about you, Fulios, but we are ready to YOLO our FOMOs. What are you? doing, Mom? Same question to you, Dad. Mom? Dad? Is that what us Ted's with a Z are calling each other these days? Also with a Z? Sounds bomb diggity to me. Hup. What's the dizzle? What is my bizzle? Sizzle? I simply cannot go on like this anymore. It's been me all along. Ty Turner. I know who you are, Dad. This is my lovely wife, Rachel. Roy, you know her as Mom. I've never been more ashamed in my entire life, masquerading as a youth, tricking my own sweet son and easily fooled stepdaughter. You didn't fool me for a second. OK, sure then. And what are you even doing at our school? Why are you pretending to be teens? Oh, we need to make a viral click clock dance video to save our ballroom studio. Fancy dance dance studio. But grown-ups are never alone in viral videos unless they're getting pranked or getting hit in very sensitive areas. Or getting pranked and getting hit in very sensitive areas. Wait, people aren't coming to Fancy Dance Dance Studio? No. Turns out no one is interested in ballroom dance anymore. And if people don't sign up for classes, we can't use our skills to pay the bills. And that is not spelt with a Z because it's serious. But if we can make a viral video of an original click clock dance, then we'll become internet famous and people will sign up. Booyah! Honey, we're off that keep up. That's my bizzle, my bizzle completely. I'm gonna go take a five. Well, maybe I can help. I've actually been reading up on how to grow small businesses. Branding strategies, capital receipt expenditure. And I'm falling asleep. What about celebrities? And I'm waking up. What you need is a celebrity to like your video, to share your video. Best case scenario, duet your video. A celebrity such as Dustin Lumberlay. <laughs> Oh beautiful God. moms like me love him. He's been asking his fans to send him original songs and dances. If he likes them, he makes a video of himself singing and dancing along. To get a guy like Dustin Lumberlake to duet your video, viral. No diggity, but we're not song writers. We're song dancers. We'll never be able to write a whole song. That's where Xena, AKA The Voice, comes in. <laughs> Wearing a crown, and you should always be wearing a crown. That was super good. The gorgeous girl. You really mean that? I do, and I think it might even be too super good. What? I think that Dustin Lumberlake is gonna be jealous of that song, and you're uh, singing. Viv, are we in the same room? I think that us songwriting noobs here should write it. So it won't be too good, and our boy DL won't be gel. OK, so you're lying to me. No. You think I don't know when my best friend in the entire world is lying to me? The nerve. Uh, uh, Stop it! I sure wish an ice cream truck could go by right now. What? I said I sure wish an ice cream truck would go by right now. I heard your hot stuff, but I know for a fact that Eddie doesn't hit this neighborhood until 536. <gasps> Eddie's early! I'd wish you good luck without me, but sometime soon, you're going to be begging your old friend Xena to help you write the song. You'll come back. They always come crawling back to Xena! Who's they? Eddie, wait! Xena hungry! Oh, finally! I've heard sick cats that sing better than that. Yeah, like in that movie, Cats. Those were some sick kitties. Me out. 
If you two kiddos need a wish, then make it snappy. We've got a work party to go to at our boss's house. And Jorgen von Strangle makes us tour all of his bathrooms every time. Puny fairies. You've already <laughs> missed 20 bathrooms on the tour. Now come enjoy some store-bought canapes. Well, before you start your journey of a thousand toilets, I wish for you to help us write the catchiest song of all time. Yes, then our parents can choreograph a dance to it. We shoot a click clock video of us dancing to it. Tag Dustin Lumberlake and boom! Viral! Well, clap your hands and raise the roof. You say we should all go poof. Wait, do I really have to do this? Nope, just being a goof. Awesome! <laughs> Both instruments have a catchy dial. Turn them all the way to 10 and let the magic happen. But the catchy dials go up to 11. Why do we have to stop at 10? 10 is plenty catchy, trust me. Olivia Rodrigo stops at a 10. And don't you tell me Olivia Rodrigo isn't catchy enough. No! Uni Furies, you have already missed 20 bathrooms on the tour. Now come enjoy some store-bought canapes. We got a dip. Turning it to 11, right? Absolutely not. I heard absolutely and then stop listening. 11! Boy, I really think we should listen to Cosmo and Wanda and keep it at 10. Dang, Stepsis. You look cool. Me? Yeah. You're the only cool looking Stepsis in the room. Yeah. So, 11? It's prime time. What? Because 11 is a prime number, so prime time was like a playful way of. Instruments. The internet? Oh, I love the internet. Not ideal. You did tag Dustin Lumberlake, right? I was born in the 2000s. Of course I tagged Dustin Lumberlake. And I guess there's nothing to do but sit around and hope he sees it. Can you imagine if I opened the door right now and it was Dustin Lumberlake? That would be ridiculous. I know. I'd be like, oh my god. And I'd be like, are you kidding me? Yeah, are you kidding me? Do you know what you have done? She's a stranger from afar and he's a local star. And now they're family and they have our parents. They're our parents. Normal floating fish. Until we grant your wish. Our parents, they're our parents. Lucian, Luther, Esther, Jane. Our parents, they're our parents. Lucian, Luther, Esther, Jane. Swim, wear, lace, chair, chop, square, time, share, gold, throne, clear, phone, dime. Got that right, partner. Jimmy, hip hop? Word. Rock and show? You got that right, mate. My grandparents love you. I didn't know you were still alive. Oh, come on, love. That hurts, it does. Bit offside, innit? it? We cannot understand you. Well, listen, this isn't about Joel's indecipherable accent. This is about that little click clock song you wrote. It used the forbidden phrase. What's the forbidden phrase? I can explain it. Basic, it's like... Um... Can someone else explain it? I bet, so check it. Better don't disrespect the man before you wreck it. Jerry, your turn. <clears throat> yeah! And 
Going back to Dustin. The forbidden phrase is a specific string of notes that is dangerously catchy. It's actually illegal to put the forbidden phrase into a song. I told you we shouldn't have gone to a wedding. So which part of our song has the forbidden phrase? Well, we don't know. We made sure not to listen to it. But we did receive security alerts on our phones because we're the Council of Pop Superstars. So what do we do now? You need to stop that song from spreading, or the forbidden phrase will worm its way into the brain of every person in Dimsdale. What happens then? If the forbidden phrase gets into someone's head, all they want to do is listen to it over and over and over again. They stop caring about their jobs, their families, their succulents. Eventually, their brains turn to mush because all they want to do is listen to the forbidden phrase, quit messing with the lights, Joel. Sorry, bruv. Lighting's 95% of the show, isn't it? Luckily for you two, the process of composing the forbidden phrase makes you immune to its power. It won't feast on its own creators, bruv. Good spot of luck, isn't it? He's saying you two are good. But if you don't fix this, everyone in Dimsdale will be a head-bopping zombie by sundown. Okay, well, how do we fix this? We don't know. Wait, seriously? We're pop superstars. We don't joke about being useless. Let's bounce, Council. Wait, so you're really not gonna stay here and help us? Sorry, love. We got brunch booked at WeHo and then, oh, oh, I fell in a bush. I think that means no. Okay, Mr. Elevens, what do we do now? Hey, relax. I'll delete the video now. Problem solved. Oh, hey, guys. Just a quick poof between toilets to make sure you didn't turn the catchy dials to 11. Uh... Cosmo, Wanda, it is still toilet time. You heard the man. Toilet time. Suspicious. OK, now delete the click clock video. All right, all right, all right. Just gonna oop, hold up text from my mom. Delete our video first. Dave, it's my mommy. She says, Stop doing everything and turn on the Dimsdale no-nonsense news. P.S. Hope Viv isn't making too many math jokes, LOL. <laughs> turn on the no-nonsense news! Delete our video first, and also you didn't need to read that P.S. out loud. My mommy said stop doing everything. That includes deleting. Reporting live, I'm Julie Stoneface. You've heard of grand openings, but have you heard of grand closings? Who wrote this nonsense? Anyway, married hotties Ty Turner and Rachel Raskin are about to close their ballroom dance business, Fancy Dance Dance Studio. And it's all because of a song. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Don't care job, just care song. Monkey, monkey. This song slaps and is a bop. Listen. Normally, I would dismiss that as nonsense. But if it really is a song that both is a bop and also slaps, I'm willing to make an exception. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK. Well, it's official. I quit. No! Signing off forever because I don't care job, just care song. Good luck, world. I've been Judy Stoneface. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I think the cameraman just quit, too. to be suspicious. OK, fine. You got us. But we need you to help us. Uni theories, get back here. My next bathroom has a Japanese robot toilet. Sorry, kids. Gotta poop. <laughs> oh, jealous. Those Japanese robot toilets, get it done. You know, kids at school got to the video before you deleted it. Now they're posting themselves doing the dance to our song. You guys got any snacks? Try the kitchen! I can't really hear you, but if you just suggested I check the kitchen, I cleaned that out on my way up here. Those are my pajamas! Again, baby girl, I can't really hear you. I've only been listening to and perfecting my song over and over for the last few days. Did you pretend to want snacks just so you could come up here and say that? But what I hope is last time, I can't really hear you. Now I'm taking my talents and this sweatshirt back to my house. Waking up in the morning, thinking about Stephen. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you.
you can kiss that sweatshirt goodbye. We've got bigger problems. Is that just my cousin? In gay Paris, I tell him the song is a banger that also slaps. Shed to the whole continent of Europe and beyond. We've got monkey troubles. Hey. Have you guys heard this song? Ooh, it's slap. Oh, no. My cousin and Barry Europe sent it to us. We got monkey troubles. Boy, if anyone can hear me, I'm still stuck in the boy. Hey, we're way off course. Who cares? This song is banger. True. Hey, Houston, we have a bop. Hey, can I have your wands, please? I think we're on our own. Wait, 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 I know exactly how to fix this. How? Go downstairs, we get the leftover gumbo out of the fridge, we heat it up, I eat it. And? We hopefully think of a way to get out of this. That's not going to work. We've never had good gumbo, and it shows. Monkey, 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 monkey. I just don't see how gumbo is going to help us. Tell me you've never had that good, good gumbo without telling me you've never had that good, good gumbo. What's going on? We're moving. Got to sell the house. Why? Can't stop listening to that monkey song. Had to close studio. Now we pack up and move. Dad, you don't have to move. She's right, Ty. Thank you. Instead of moving, we can just lie down on our faces and spend the rest of our lives listening to that song. Not what I meant. Hello, I'm former news anchor Judy Stoneface. Is this where the monkey song was birthed? Yes. It's nonsense and I love it. Monkey, 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 monkey. studio and we're moving. Mm, that's bad. Oh my god, the stock market crashed. What's a stock market? And the United Nations have quit working on world peace to focus on the monkey song. Thank god I got this good, good gumbo. How does the gumbo help us? I'm gonna need some of that gumbo later. But first, you should all know that I finished perfecting my song. I'll sing you the new chorus. It's about you. Yikes. If loving you is bad, why do you smell so good? Snippy, snippy, ooh, snippy, snippy, bye, bye. What is that awful noise? It's hurting my perfect ears. If loving you is bad, why do you smell so good? I will pay you more than you possess to stop that singing. And I will pay you double. Keep singing. What? Just trust me. Sing, Zena. Okay. Sniff it, bye, bye. You're my sniffy, sniffy, bye, bye. I think Zena's voice is so terrible that it's breaking the spell. S to the N to the I to the F F Y. If I don't sniff you right now, I'll die. What are all these boxes doing here? And why aren't we at work? I have no idea. Let's get out of here, Ty. Let's get some of that good, good gumbo and dance this horrible dream out of our beautiful minds. Gumbo fixes everything. <sighs> of course it does. It's gumbo! I think Zena's voice is so bad that it breaks the spell of the forbidden phrase. Oh, Viv, it's the power. Power gumbo! Oh my god. Hey, Zena! Take off your headphones! Sup, Chica? 
I want to record your song and send it to everyone in the world. Of course you do. What? Like the mighty swallows returning to Capistrano. Again, what? They always come crawling back to Xena. So can we record you? For a price. Name it. I think you know what I want. Do you guys know that there are 419 types of gumbo? There's Creole gumbo, gumbo ya ya, gumbo yay yay, gumbo boo boo. Done. Is she okay? Yeah, she just fainted because of your smell. Wanda, Cosmo. I'm sorry, but your friend Xena is a terrible singer. I was having a great monkey related dream until that awful singing woke me up. See? Wanda and Cosmo aren't song zombies anymore. My theory was right. Xena's voice breaks the spell. Okay, fine, babe. It wasn't the gumbo at all. Okay, Roy, wish that literally every single screen in the entire world played this video. Like, ten times in a row, just to be sure. You heard the lady. If the menu is bad, why do you smell so bad? Sippy, sippy, oh, sippy, sippy, bad, bad. Houston, we are back on course, but we're just gonna hang out up in space until that girl is done singing. <laughs> I'm giving a tour of my bathrooms. What do you want? Oh, you fixed it. How? Gumbo? Yes, fine. We fixed it with gumbo. Ha! <laughs> anyway, since we fixed it, you owe us a favor. I don't see how I owe you a favor because you fixed a problem that you created, but go ahead. I'm gonna need you to come back to Dinsdale. What? what? I'm Judy Stoneface. You've heard of grand closings, but have you heard of grand reopenings? Yes? No? Well, enough nonsense. Here's Dustin Lumberlake. Hi, Judy. I have no time for pleasantries. What are you doing here and why? OK, I'm dancing. Ballroom dancing, because I'm done with click clock dancing. Mm. All that standing in one place, waving your arms around like you're a big deal or something. It's nonsense. It sure is. So be like Dustin Lumberlake and come on down to Fancy Dance Dance Studio where you can learn to dance a real dance. A ballroom dance. Come on down, I'm right here. Oh, you're talking to the viewers at home that you can't even see. This is nonsense, I've been Judy Stoneface. Oh, what? No, stop it, this is nonsense, stop it. All right, this is kind of nice. Continue, continue. I think we learned a pretty valuable lesson today, Viv. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. Ha! Can you imagine? Uh, yes, I can. We made a wish and it completely backfired. Uh, no, we made a wish and we took it to 11. Things got a little out of control, but we cleaned up our mess and saved the dance studio. And, uh, remember how cool you looked at that guitar? Sha. Yeah. Hey, speaking of wishes, I actually wish that Zena had a beautiful singing voice. Oh, nice. Right in time for her sniffy music video shoot. Oh, no! Oh, yes, it's Tom the Sniff. Nobody knows if you catch my drift now, me and I'll just empty your mind. It's sniffing time. Oh!